Hello, Prerna here. Welcome back to my channel, Knowledge of Maths. As you all know, we are studying CBSC Board and CRT Mathematics of Grade 6. In today's video, we will learn to solve questions related to converting smaller units to greatest units and vice versa. Before moving to questions, I just want to tell you some points to remember. It will help you in further questions. The first point is unit of length. Whenever we measure the lengths, we use units like millimeter, centimeter, meter, kilometer, etc. The relation between millimeters and centimeter is 10 millimeters makes 1 centimeter. You all have scale. In that scale, there are 10 lines in between 1 centimeter. Those lines indicate millimeters. Okay. Well, the next point is 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeters. 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. Here, kilo indicates 1000. When we have to remove this kilo and we have to convert it into meter, then we have to write here 1000. Okay. So, the next point is unit of weight. Whenever we measure the weight of anything, we measure it in the unit of gram, milligram or kilogram. The 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligrams and 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram. The next point is unit of capacity. Whenever we use to measure capacity, we use the unit liter or milliliter. 1 liter makes 1000 milliliter. Okay. And the next point is kilo is greatest and milli is smallest. Okay. And the next point is to convert a smaller unit into greatest unit, divide smaller unit by the conversion ratio of greater unit. That means whenever you have the value in smaller units, say meter, and you have to convert it into greatest unit, say kilometer, then what you have to do, you have to divide the smaller unit by the conversion ratio. Here the conversion ratio is 1000. So we have to divide the value of meter by 1000 to convert it into kilometer. Okay. Now, and to convert a greatest unit into smaller unit, multiply greater unit by the conversion ratio of smaller unit. Means, uh, if you have the value of anything in greatest unit, say in kilometer, and you have to convert it into meter, then you have to multiply the greater unit, means the kilometer by the conversion ratio of the smaller unit. Here the conversion ratio is 1000. So you have to multiply the value of kilometer by 1000 to convert it into smaller unit. Okay. Now let's move to the question. On page number 12 you have the question as how many centimeters make a kilometer? As everyone know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. And also we know that 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. And we have to find out how many centimeters make a kilometer. Now let's take this first relation between meter and centimeter. As 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter and let's multiply both sides by 10. Then what we will get? 10 meter is equal to 1000 centimeter. And if we multiply it again by 10, we will get 100 meter is equal to 10,000 centimeter. Let's again multiply by 10, then what we will get? 1,000 meter is equal to 1 lakh centimeter. But here we have written as 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meter. And 1,000 meter is equal to 1 lakh centimeter. If we replace this by 1 kilometer, then what we will get? 1 kilometer is equal to 1 lakh centimeter and that's what the answer of this question. So, the question is how many centimeters make a kilometer? So, the answer is 1 lakh centimeters make a kilometer. Okay, now let's move to the next question. The next question is name 5 large cities in India. Find their population. Also find the distance in kilometers between each pair of these cities. Uh, I have taken here the cities are 
मुंबई बेंगलोर दिल्ली हैदराबाद अहमदाबाद द पॉप्युलेशन ऑफ मुंबई इज 22.5 मिलियन बेंगलोर पॉप्युलेशन इज 10.1 मिलियन दिल्ली पॉप्युलेशन इज 18.6 मिलियन हैदराबाद पॉप्युलेशन इज 8.7 मिलियन एंड अहमदाबाद पॉप्युलेशन इज 6.3 मिलियन नाउ लेट्स फाइंड द डिस्टेंस इन किलोमीटर्स बिटवीन ईच पेयर ऑफ सिटीज सी एम द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन मुंबई टू बेंगलोर इज नाइन हंड्रेड एंड एटी फोर पॉइंट सिक्स किलोमीटर मुंबई टू दिल्ली इज वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन पॉइंट वन किलोमीटर मुंबई टू हैदराबाद इज सेवन हंड्रेड एंड एट पॉइंट वन किलोमीटर मुंबई टू अहमदाबाद इज फाइव हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट टू किलोमीटर बेंगलोर टू दिल्ली इज टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट टू किलोमीटर बेंगलोर टू हैदराबाद इज फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी नाइन किलोमीटर बेंगलोर टू अहमदाबाद इज वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी वन पॉइंट एट किलोमीटर दिल्ली टू हैदराबाद इज वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड एटी टू पॉइंट एट किलोमीटर दिल्ली टू अहमदाबाद इज नाइन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट वन किलोमीटर हैदराबाद टू अहमदाबाद इज वन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फोर किलोमीटर नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑन पेज नंबर थर्टीन इट इज हाउ मेनी मिलीग्राम्स मेक्स वन किलोग्राम सो द फर्स्ट रिलेशन बिटवीन ग्राम एंड मिलीग्राम वी हैव एज वन ग्राम इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड मिलीग्राम एंड ऑल्सो वी नो दैट वन किलोग्राम मेक्स वन थाउजेंड ग्राम देन वॉट वे विल डू वी टेक दिस फर्स्ट वन and let's multiply with 10 then what we get 10 g is equal to 10000 mg let's multiply again with 10 we get 100 g is equal to 1 lakh mg let's again multiply by 10 we get 1000 g is equal to 10 lakh mg but we already know that 1000 g is equal to 1 kg so let's replace this value by 1 kg so we got 1 kg is equal to 10 lakh mg and this is the answer the question is how many mg makes 1 kg so the answer is 10 lakh mg make 1 kg okay now let's move to the next question the next question is a box contains 2 lakh medicine tablets each weighing 20 mg means here we have a box with 2 lakh medicine tablets and from that box medicine tablets each tablet has a weight of 20 mg okay and they are asking us that what is the total weight of all the tablets in the box in grams and in kilograms okay so first we know from the question is medicine tablets are totally 2 lakh okay and the weight of each tablet is 20 mg and we have to find it out the total weight of all tablets in gram as well as in kilogram okay here we have the how many tablets are there and we know the weight of each tablet and we have to find out the total weight of all tablets means we have to add weight of each tablet 2 lakh times so we will then we will get the weight of all tablets but it is not possible to add up 22 lakh times so here what you have to remember is whenever there is repeated addition see here here 20 20 20 it will become repeated addition right so then what we have to do we should multiply the value with number of times we will get the total means here what we have to do we have to multiply this 2 lakh with 20 then what we will get we will get the total weight of all tablets so let's multiply 2 lakh into 20 gives us 40 lakh so the total weight of all tablets in the box is 40 lakh mg but they have told us to find the weight in gram as well as in kilogram now 
in the starting of the video i have told you to remember the point as to convert a smaller unit into greatest unit divide smaller unit by the conversion ratio of greater unit here milligram is smaller unit and we have to convert it in gram which is greater by milligram and we have to convert it into kilogram which is also greater so what we have to do we have to divide this small value of smaller unit by the conversion ratio of greater unit so as we all know 1000 mg is equal to 1 gram so here conversion ratio is 1000 then we have to divide 40 lakh mg by 1000 what we will get we get 4000 which is which has got converted into gram and now to convert it into kilogram we have to um we know that 1000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram so what we will do we will divide this 4000 gram by 1000 then what we get 4 kilogram so the answer of this question is the total weight of all the tablets in the box is equal to 40 lakh mg or we can say 4000 g or we can also say 4 kg okay in today's video we will stop here if you like my teaching then please like share and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching bye everyone